it's Alexa back with another video. Today, we're gonna be installing an LED light strip kit on the interior of my Camaro SS. Um, I'm actually here with a couple members of C3 Car Club, and I actually got this idea from one of the members. He had it done on his Camaro, and it's just a thin little LED light strip that runs across the dashboard um, over top of the uh, gauge cluster. It looks really good. Of course, it's daytime, but we got to see what we're doing. So at night, I will definitely show you guys the finished results. But um, there were a few things I had to buy online uh, at wish.com, which of course they were very inexpensive. So that's a good thing. But let me show you guys some of the materials I have. Got Chico in the build and say what's up. <laughs> He's camera shy. No, you fine. <laughs> so all of these parts were, are going to come into play at some point. So all in <laughs> at this point, I'm not very good with the electronics, but of course, this is why I got help from these guys. So, Chico, can you explain real quick what each one does in the whole setup process? Um, so, this one right here can mm -hmm. be used as depending on how you want to set it up to power if you're going to actually use a switch to it. And um, I am going to use a switch. So, then that's mm -hmm. when you'll power this up from your fuse box mm -hmm. and you will actually use an additional fuse. So, it would be one for whatever is running on your vehicle already and then the other fuse to power up your LED light. Okay. Um, these ones right here would mm -hmm. be if you actually want to use your cigarette lighter, mm -hmm. you just splice it in half yeah. and then you'll have an on and off button if you want to go that yeah. way. Yeah, I thought about doing that at first, but the way he has his setup, he has the switch where he mounted it in the side kind of footwell next to your leg so that way he can just switch it on whenever you want instead of opening your center glove box and everything like that. So let me show you guys where exactly in the car this is going to be so if you guys don't know um the camaro ss's already have an interior light strip that goes across here that just comes with the car it comes with the 2ss model and so i'm gonna try to we're gonna um tuck in the light strip here in between these two panels i have a separator that'll make it a little bit easier so i want the light strip to run across here all the way up across here and all the way across the dash and that way it'll line up with the other ones as well the only problem i'm having is chico did mention that with his setup when he tried it across the top it did kind of provide a glare onto the windshield at night so that made it a little bit harder to see so he moved his down here to where it's at the bottom of course it still looks good and it runs along the bottom here but the only thing he doesn't like is that it doesn't line up with the door lighting as well so the good thing is the one that I bought, it does match the door lighting color. So I thought that was really cool. It's an ice blue. Same thing as uh, this light color here. So um, I wanted to go ahead, try the top one first to see how bearable it would be at night to see if it's uh, if it provides too much of a glare or anything. And we're going to drill into the footwell right here. I say footwell, but I don't side panel. We're going to drill right here and have the switch right here so that way I can just click it on and off. Now your cigarette lighter options of course are here and inside your glove box you got one here. So I was going to put it there but it does take up a little bit of space and it does look cooler on on the side so if you guys don't want to use a drill or anything you do have this option so um so yeah just wanted to explain to you guys what we're doing and then once we get started I will come back to you guys in a second. Outside the car. Yes. Uh, oh, okay, so you take this off first. Yep. Alright. So we take that off first. Mm -hmm. See? And okay, so when and I drilled drill right here. I drilled here. Mm -hmm. So then you have to want to drill a little bit farther back because if not, you're gonna bump into this over here. What is that? It's got it's, a, it's like a metal other. bar. Yeah, so oh, no. that's gonna cause a problem. Okay. You know, so we need to make sure that we make it go far enough back. Okay. Before we actually drill, because if not, it's gonna be an issue. Okay, not a problem. Here's into yeah into the table into the table. So I'm gonna go. S All right. Simple as that. Yeah. And we'll just go bigger. So we got a step drill, so it'll make it a little bit easier. So you don't have to I think that last change one is, uh, three quarters. Yeah, it should say it on there, but yeah. Mm. 
Perfect. Yeah, that's easy. Oh, wow. Easy enough. Perfect. Now. See, yeah, see, it has these little clips in oh, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it could be nice and snug. Oh, well, maybe we gotta go a little bit bigger. Yeah, we gotta go a little, a little bit bigger. bigger. All right, guys, switch has been mounted. We had to round off the opening just a little bit to make it fit nice and snug. It was a little too small, so we just rounded off the hole a little bit. Now we're gonna go into our fuse box where you just remove the side panel right here and then we can start uh, hooking everything up that way. All right, so two for power. One will go to your fuse box. The other one will go to actually power your light so this one will go to this and then this one will go to your light okay and use another one for ground which will just go to the the little uh, that one right there we'll just take it off mm -hmm. and we'll scratch the back of it so it can get better ground mm -hmm. and then we'll tighten it back up and that's what we'll put it okay get ground. gotcha all right, so this ground screw that we're gonna use is actually a seven millimeter. If you guys were wondering, I had to use one of these. Get it out, so we took it out, make sure we have everything connected firmly, and then we'll uh, go ahead and screw it back in once we have all of our wires checked out. I'm sure done. All right. How far down you need it? Uh, not that much because we're gonna then attach this one to the end so it can go back to the to your fuse. Okay, so, so is this that is good? gonna be let's see like about yeah that's fine. Okay. And then after you're done with that one, you do the same thing to both of these ends. And this while you do that, I'll just scratch it off a little bit so you can get that ground where your screw's going. You got any other wires that need to be um that other power one, the other red one, both sides. Okay. And you and then when you crimp that uh the other one. Now you do the same thing for this thing. That stand is gonna go into the back of your switch. I need to cut that. So yeah, you can cut it and then throw another one of these on there. Where are the cutters at? Oh like right. Yep. Right mm -hmm. there. Cause this little box is gonna end up being inside where your fuse pump, where your fuse box is at inside, mm -hmm. and then it'll be easier to grab straight on into the ground. And I'll just these are I'm just gonna it, wrap it, twist it in there. Yeah, just twist it. Okay. That other one. make sure we are still able to power our accessory and make sure we're able to power our lighting as well so every single wire has a purpose so um, I hope this was a good enough explanation for you um, and yeah we're going to run it 
Some spots are a little tight. Do you need a plastic tool? Uh, I think we might need some in some parts. How did you? <laughs> Don't you laugh, Chico? <laughs> yeah. It's hard to get this angle. Like, get the center, but along the sides. All right, guys, so we got everything hooked up. Make sure you get a size 15, right? Size 15, um, what is that piece called? The fuse, the mini fuse. The, yeah, make sure you get yeah. a size 15 mini fuse because what size do we have that it didn't work? So, this is the ones that it actually needs for the minis. Uh huh. And or it didn't fit. This is the one that we actually need. Okay. This, and then the smaller ones are the ones that didn't work. Okay. All right, so it's a different different sizes. So we got that hooked up, got the 15s in there. We're just gonna um, tidy up everything. You can zip tie some areas, put the panel back. So as you guys can see here, here's our three wires. Um, as far as what's on the back of the switch, the bronze colored plug is actually, or the prong, the bronze colored one is your ground. The one in the middle is gonna be your accessory. And then the other one is obviously your power. So we just had to switch those around. When we first plugged it up, it wasn't uh, switched on right. But we're going to push this panel back into its place. And once I'm able to turn it on, see the light illuminates. And now I got lights. Check it out. That is nice. So yeah, it's just going to run in here. Um, and I'm going to wait to see what it looks like at night before I super glue anything down because it wasn't too hard to get these in but they come out really easily so the super glue would really come into play i ran these along the bottom so it wouldn't glare too much at the top of here but yeah we're gonna see what it looks like running along um at night but already it looks really nice so um switch is good let's turn it back off we're good to go so we're just gonna tidy up and i'll show you guys what it looks like at night all right guys so i'm here in the car it is clearly at night, nice and dark. Um, so everything's already hooked up. I just drove with it and actually it's not that bad. So let me go ahead and switch it on for you. Here's a switch down here. See it lights up. Voila, look at that. Dang, and then it goes against door seal. Of course this is brighter, but you know, this is LED. I don't think these door seal uh, lights were any LED, but you know, it looks nice. I got it running along the bottom, All right? Still looking good. Goes along with this door seal too. So the question that uh, I was worried about was how does it look as far as glare? So if I lean back, you guys can see that glare right up at the top, but that's not in my field of vision directly. So like right here, I'm good actually. So I think it was a good move for me to tuck it down here because if it was up at the top, I really think it would have been an issue. Um, it would have been more in my direct line of sight. So it's it's out of my way and I think I'm good with uh, leaving it up here. I like the way it lines up. It looks great. Color matches really well with the stock, you know. So then when I turn keys on and everything, look at that. Fancy. I like it. So uh, I... <laughs> We ran into a few hiccups and everything, so, um, but it was still, you know, a really fun process. I'm very happy with how it turned out. Thank you again to uh, Chico and Marcelo from C3 Car Club. Y'all really helped me out a lot, so. But yeah, I really liked it, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel. Um, I do post twice a week, so there's always something cool for you to watch. So thank you guys again, and I will see y'all next time. Take care.